NASA astronauts who had an extended stay in space, you might say, are happy to be home in Houston to enjoy, by their words, some grilled cheese, their dogs, even church. They returned two weeks ago. Three very good things for sure. Now that they've recovered, they're also turning their eyes to what went wrong here. ABC 13's Dick Notario spoke to the astronauts at the Johnson Space Center about how their mission could impact the local aerospace industry. There were a lot of smiles from these astronauts as they shared stories about their extended stay, but there were some serious moments too, like they need to know exactly what went wrong with that spacecraft that was designed by a private aerospace company. It's again an For the honor first time, NASA astronauts Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore are opening up after their dramatic splashdown in the Gulf. When you see your, your family, you know, your spouse, it's like, wow, this is it. And um, boy, I better uh, make sure I remember how to make the bed and do my own laundry. <laughs> Chores they didn't have to do for a long time. The pair were supposed to take an eight day test flight to the ISS on Boeing Starliner. Instead, spacecraft issues forced them to stay for nearly 10 months in space. The unexpected stay allowed them to do experiments, although since they weren't planned to be there, they didn't bring with them their own experiments. I think that part felt a little like, Ugh. and so it was nice that we actually had the opportunity to sign up for a couple experiments. It wasn't the only frustrating part. This was a big mission for private aerospace companies. Boeing created the spacecraft. It's not the only private company that works with NASA. The Greater Houston Partnership says the agency spends $2.5 billion alone in Texas and 23,000 work in the industry in the Houston area. It is important to have these providers. This spacecraft is an amazing spacecraft. It has some issues that we will rectify because then we're going to do it together. Spacecraft issues have delayed future missions from Apollo to the shuttle program. With Starliner expected to fly again and NASA eyeing the moon and beyond, these test flight astronauts hope it doesn't slow down the private production. You've seen uh, historically overcoming many, many, many uh, endless type of short, or shortcomings, shortfalls that have, have occurred, and, and this will be no different. It wasn't just Williams and Wilmore that made history. So did that third person that came down in the capsule just a couple weeks ago. Astronaut Nick Haig was the first Space Force guardian to go up to the ISS, and he says it was an absolute honor to be that person to do so. From the Johnson Space Center, Nick Notorio, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.